You're up. Shout out to the uh, classic angles. I've been messing around with uh, a couple other angles, techniques, eating behind the camera. Um, I don't know. I just wasn't. I, I kind of wanted to showcase some food. I just wanted like that to be kind of the star of the show, kind of deal. So, but now the real star is back. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I just started this video. Like it's home cooking stuff. I made this bomb ass Mexican street corn and this uh, chicken sandwich. Um, starting the video, just everything went wrong. So I've kind of already eaten just a bit of the sandwich, but other than that, we're good. It just, it kind of fucked up. Like I just, I didn't push the table in far enough for the light. I forgot Parmesan cheese. It just got so messy when I, like, I was gonna build it in front of you guys, but then it got, got so incredibly messy. Uh, so I'm just kind of starting from here. All right, three topia to drink. Fruit integration, you guys have seen this before. I had it uh, in my Chinese egg roll video. And it seems like people in America are like desperate for fruitopia because I had a bunch of people hit me up being like, yo, send me some of that shit. Like, I'll pay you extra. I was like, I mean, I would, but at the same time, it's just like, sorry, that seems like a lot of effort for me to do. Uh, anyways, so <clears throat> Mexican street corn, butter, sour cream, um, this chili lime, chili lime salt, some chopped up green onion. And I put bacon on it, so it's kind of next level, I guess. Yeah, that's clutch. Then I got uh, made this chicken sandwich. Pretty bomb. Lettuce, tomato. Um, toasted the uh, chew bada bun. It's a rapper's favorite bun. See what I did there? Uh, I pounded up the chicken flat, put some panko on it, fried it, and panko fried. Um, and then I put Monterey Jack cheese, if I didn't say that already, and then also added some bacon bits. And I also made my own like honey mustard sauce. So I will continue to eat it, because I already kind of started. And it's pretty sloppy and messy. But it is good. Very good. I'm gonna add a little more sauce as per my bites. So good. starving. It's like 10.30 at night right now. Saturday night. Normally when you have a Saturday, Saturday night off, you're expected to go turn up. I, however, did not turn up at all because I turned up last night <laughs> and today was rough, very rough. Hangovers as you get older are just not easy. They get worse and worse and worse. Wow. 
That is so good. I know that the idea of sour cream on corn seems strange, but if not, once you taste it, I have a love hate with corn though. This is why it's all up in your teeth, all up in the tight crevice. But so good. It's always a weird sensation to like sucking the. These little pockets. Kind of strange. Deliciously strange, though. But yeah, yeah. Very drunk last night been rough all day and just now I finally got around to like feeling like I could eat so I said fuck it let's make a video since I got nothing else going on today actually let's do this up close oozy drip shot damn that's the money shot But yeah, last night we were celebrating um, my really good friends, they're musicians, they, they're on the radio and they're like, they basically like made it, I guess you could say. But they just released their debut album. And it's fucking awesome. You guys should. I highly encourage you to go search Coleman Hell. Coleman, like the grill. Coleman. Hell, like the place where you go if you're bad, when you live, after you die. The album is called Summerland. Summerland. That's incredible. Nine ninety nine on iTunes. I know we live in an era where you like lots of people just steal music, but I don't know if you'd be able to find it by torrent. Maybe. But Go check it out, like, preview the songs, and if you think you like it, I promise you, you won't regret it. Ten bucks for a good listening. Wow, we were celebrating that. And then tonight, I have to be on my best behavior. Because... One of the guys in the band, his girlfriend, she's running a 50K marathon.
And I gotta be up decently early to go like, we're gonna go like, wait at like a certain mark. I don't cheer on. Show her some support. I'm out of napkins, it sucks. This shit is so good, dude. I feel bad if you can't get it. Okay, you know what? I have one more piece of corn here. So let's go through the building of the corn. If you build it, he will come. They will come. Angels in the outfield. Kevin Costner. Weird old 90s classic. While I was cooking this stuff, I was actually watching Transformers 2. And literally, I shit you not, I just rub it all in there, fuck it, why not? Um, every couple, I don't know, it's maybe set, you know, semi-annually or some shit like that. Um, sour cream, rub it on. I get like, the craziest craving to have to watch Transformers, like one, two, and three. All the ones with Shia LaBeouf, because Shia LaBeouf is the fucking man. He's so dope. I love the dude. Such a good actor, I think. And he's funny as fuck. And he can play serious roles really well, too. Like, if you've ever seen Lawless, Lawless is a sick movie. But, um... This probably looks disgusting, but it's delicious. Um, I just get on these things where I just have to watch the first Transformers, like the first three. The one with Wahlberg can suck a dick. Like, I hate that one. Mark Wahlberg is kind of annoying, to be honest. And also, I don't know, just... It was not done well. And I just feel like any Transformers movie just, like, requires the original cast, like, of... Shia LaBeouf and I guess even Megan Fox for that matter, but whatever. Bacon sprinkle. This guy stuff. Chili lime. These aren't just for decoration, these do add a nice flavor. But now that I'm messy as fuck, like I told you, uh, the f first time I built this, I was just like, I had to restart the video because it ended up looking like this, but fuck it. I feel like Tom Hanks. In Castaway. Look what I have created. Because this is fire. Some dude commented on my video saying, I wish you'd use a napkin more often. Well, how about now, buddy? This is definitely a napkin scenario, but at the same time, it's kind of just pointless. You may as well just go hard in the paint and just rock it on your face until you're done. Because really, it just ends up in the shit anyways like that. Oh, fuck.
But yeah, this is like, this is very rich, rich and sweet. I think that chili lime salt gives it like a nice spice and a citrus note, but like sour cream is rich, butter is rich, bacon. Bam. That's done. So good. All right, well, that was a messy endeavor. It's kind of a, it just sucks that the video started out kind of halfway in, but whatever it is a what it is um leave some comments if you've made it this far if there's anything specific that you kind of want to see for food any cool like recipes or ideas i can make but uh as always we will see you in the next one.